The analysis of operational variances explains the difference between the profit in the sales adjusted profit plan and the actual profit. Operational variances are classified into variances associated with direct costs and those associated with indirect costs. Direct costs are either variable or fixed. For variable costs, two operational variances are estimated. One of them, the efficiency variance, is related to how efficient resources were used, whereas the spending variance corresponds to the prices paid for the inputs. There is no hard rule about which of the two variances comes first. In most real-life situations, the differences between starting with one or the other are insignificant. Let's start with the efficiency variance. The sales adjusted profit plan is based on the actual revenues and planned costs given actual revenues. In other words, costs in the sales adjusted profit plan are estimated using the planned efficiency in manufacturing and the planned prices of inputs. To estimate the impact of changes in the efficiency of the production, a new profit plan is calculated. It is the same as the sales adjusted profit plan, except that it uses actual efficiency rather than the planned efficiency. Efficiency is defined as the input-output ratio. For instance, how much material is required per jacket is an efficiency ratio. If a company manufacturing shirts plans to use one square meter of fabrics per shirt at two euros per square meter, the planned total cost of fabrics per shirt is two euros. If the company ends up using only 0.8 square meters, it has been more efficient because it used less fabric than planned. 0.2 square meters less fabrics per shirt. This difference translates into an additional profit of 0.4 euros per unit, 0.2 square meters of fabrics at 2 euros per square meter. The efficiency variance in this case would be favorable. Multiplying this amount by the number of shirts gives the total efficiency variance for fabrics. Once efficiency has been modified from planned to actual, the next step is to evaluate the effect of input prices. To do this, they are switched from planned to actual and a new profit plan is estimated. For example, the planned price of fabrics may be 2 euros per square meter and the actual price is 1 euro.9 per square meter. The lower price of inputs leads to lower costs of fabrics, higher profits, and a favorable spending variance for fabrics. Like competitive variances, there can be more detailed variances. For instance, for each type of input, there can be an efficiency variance and a spending variance. For example, a company producing ice cream can separate efficiency and spending variances for the different inputs such as milk and flavors. Direct fixed costs are easier to analyze because there is no efficiency variance. Differences between planned and actual fixed costs are only due to spending. Either the resources were more or less expensive than planned, or management decided to spend a different amount of discretionary costs. For instance, faster growth may require renting additional space that was not planned. Also, management may see an opportunity to build the brand and spend more in advertising than planned. Or lower growth may create unplanned excess capacity.